guys Airbus A321 I'm working at the back today and um, later on we will change them to the A320 Neo I'm having some breakfast I went to the bakery here at the airport this is a vanilla bun and then later on I bought for me also a little salami sandwich with brie cheese and I'm excited about that because it looked amazing <music> I'm doing my transit here at Frankfurt Airport again. Uh, we changed aircrafts now. I am again back in the A320 Neo. Um, and I will answer one question before we depart to Linate. Sami SK, SK, Sami SK asks on Instagram um, which type of aircrafts do I fly? We at uh, Lufthansa, we are allowed to fly three different type of aircrafts. I fly the Boeing 747 family. Uh, so the 747-400, the 747-8. Then I fly the A340 family, this means the A330-300, the A340-300 and the A340-600 and then I also fly for um, short haul aircraft the A320 family, this means the A319, A320CO, A320neo, A321 and soon hopefully in May this year the A321neo. Now of course there are different aircrafts also that we have uh, in the fleet that I don't fly. Uh, there's also the A350 and the, the A380 and uh, my colleagues from Lufthansa Zitland for example they fly the Bombardier Sir, uh, CRJ900 uh, and the Embraer 190 and But hey, this room is actually bigger than I expected. All right, time for bed. Good morning from Munich. It's, I don't know what time is it. I think it's maybe 11. Yeah, it's 11 at uh, 1.30 p.m. I'm having my pickup today. Um, night was weird again because I couldn't fall asleep till four something in the morning. Um, I literally wanted to kill myself in between. You, you know that feeling when you want to actually fall asleep and you can't and I don't know to be honest why I couldn't but yeah so yeah I slept till 10 something so I had around six hours so that's fine so um in the meantime I will still continue answering a few questions all right uh, im Galvin house asks on Instagram favorite aircraft type and why 747-8 why because um First of all, it looks beautiful. It's like a beautiful aircraft. Um, it's the queen of the skies, you know? And I think the working environment in the aircraft is also very good. Um, I've heard a lot of colleagues of mine that fly the A380 say that the A380 is even better. Um, I've never flown A380, not even as a passenger, so I cannot say, you know, I cannot answer that. But um, in my opinion, the 747-8. Um, the 400 is a little bit too loud, but the Dash 8, it, it's modern it's good looking you have lots of space to work and um yeah you know in comparison to other aircrafts like the a340 or so yeah and then she also asks um best and worst experience on board all right um huh worst experience well i had you know some experiences or some situations that um were not that pleasant but you know that it's part of the job, for example, I don't know, medical emergencies on board. I'm not a fan of that, um, simply because sometimes there's not really something you can do about it. Um, we are 
we are like very very good trained for medical emergencies but still there are some cases where you just help that you cannot you know resolve the problem and for best experiences I don't know I don't have like a real best experience I have lots of good memories um, either with passengers or crews um, there are crews that are amazing and that you will you know never forget um, same as a few passengers or, or stories that passengers share with you Fra X STR <laughs> okay um, well he asks on Instagram is there any special flight you have taken that you will never forget or well, the flight where Tara and I got together and Tara and I met each other a few times before that um, and we met over Instagram I know it sounds weird but it's it was like that. We got together on a flight to Washington um, and yeah that's maybe actually one of the best days of my life because um, well I love her of course she's my girlfriend uh, but it was a very special flight. Um, it was a very special flight and I will always remember it. I never thought that I would have a connection to like to like Washington or to that specific flight but um, now I have one and um, I love it. Every time I have to fly to Washington, I think about that flight. Louis Saab asks in, on Instagram in German, Hast du vor deinem Job für immer zu machen? Um, I was translated if I'm thinking about doing this job forever. Well, yes. Um, I don't know if full time, but yes. Um, I love flying. I love being in contact with other people, with my passengers. I love... Um, being in contact with my crew, with my colleagues. Um, hopefully I'll grow in the cabin and I will, you know, get new positions and get to know new things, get to learn new things. Um, so yeah, I actually want to do it all my life. I don't know if full time I have, you know, other things that interest me. I'm a pilot as well. I don't know if when I'm older, I will have the chance or um, I will be strong enough to fly full-time all my life um, but probably I hope so I, I really hope so I hope that I do not get sick or something um, that would actually ruin my life I think so yeah cross your fingers for me thank you Vic Rocks Flame asks also on Instagram um, what made you want to become a flight attendant so I was in um, during my pilot training in Argentina, during my PPL license, and um, a lot of flight instructors of mine were flight attendants or are flight attendants in Argentina, and they were like, "Hey, you can try that. It would be a good idea." Um, Gaga Kyle asks also on Instagram, "Why did you choose Lufthansa?" Um, well, I think I answered that already in my last video when I was in Jeddah, but um, Lufthansa was my dream airline from. I don't know since I was born why um, I don't know I used to fly Lufthansa as a kid from Argentina to Germany all the time my family from Germany used to fly Lufthansa all the time to come to Argentina I did an exchange I was in a German school in Buenos Aires and they offered us to do an exchange with Germany for around three months and I went to Hamburg and uh, my exchange daddy he was um, he was working for a Lufthansa Technik at the airport so um, thanks to him I got like a huge amount of information about Lufthansa and um, and the jobs available Lufthansa was and is still a big dream of me um, and I'm so happy that it came true um, I cannot tell you actually why it's just like that like I do not have Lufthansa in my head I think I have Lufthansa in my heart and um, that's very important because uh, that makes me love my job even more and it makes me proud of being part of the Lufthansa family. <sighs> I love when food is here. Allgäuer Käsespätzle, a little salad, and I'm gonna be watching one of my favorite YouTube channels, Global Traveler TV. Oh my god, what a surprise, it's raining outside. Great. <laughs> I'm at the FOC Flight Operations Center here in Munich. This is the second biggest headquarters or home base from Lufthansa. And um, yeah, I'm ready for my flight back to Frankfurt and then we will head to, um, to Prague and then I will spend the night in Bologna, Italy. <laughs> we 
landed punctual on time here in Bologna. Now we will head to the hotel. I'm very excited about it. I've never been here before. So um, yeah, let's do it. It's 10.45 right now here. And uh, I have tomorrow pick up at 1.25 p.m. So that's good. It's a lot of time. So I want my ideas now, you know, go to sleep. And tomorrow at around 8 or 9, um, yeah, wake up, stand up, take a shower and then leave to the city because we're in the city center and that's um, that's good. What I saw right now from Bologna, you know, in the dark, it looked very pretty. So um, yeah, I decided to go out. I changed plans. I'm going out. <laughs> I'm not leaving yet, I'm leaving in one hour and ten minutes. I'll be going to have breakfast and yes, I'll be going like this. And I decided to go like this simply to save a little bit of time. So, um, yeah, oh, it's a beautiful day. So pretty, but at finally I could fall asleep and sleep like ten hours. That's what I was needing. <laughs> Guys, I just saw my first officer and he was coming from breakfast and he was like, okay, like, am I late or you are too early? And it's like, yeah, I'm too early, but like, definitely I'm too early. But the thing is, uh, I told him like the same thing. I'm scared of not making it on time, you know, because I, I need to shower and, and change and pack everything again. So I did all that. Now I'm in uniform, decided to go to have breakfast because it's, you know, it's easier in a way. Cheers. Italians, so they simply can do good coffee. There we go, straziatella, cioccolato, and I'm ready to go to work. <laughs> I'm so happy that I took the decision of going on. This is, this is so good. This is actually a good time to answer one of my questions. Um, there was one viewer from Germany, Julian. He um asked the following thing that appears here right now um it's a long text i don't remember exactly one to one what he wrote but um i remember that he asked how is it that you know how we pay in layovers we get um from the airline um money for each layover and um, depending how long it is and where it is um so that we can spend that and we do have our own card for that and um, yeah, for each and every flight we get the money. And then with that we paid. So, you know, the hotel is paid, but that's it. We get like discounts for breakfast or for in-room service or things like that. Yes, um, but um, so yeah, that are some benefits, but we do have to pay the things we do in, in each and every layover by ourselves. The only thing that we have already paid by the airline is the hotel everything else we get the money for that Flying now back to Frankfurt, then uh, we will head uh, to Libaba two hours transit over there. After that, we will fly to London Heathrow and back, and that would be it for these four days. I'll be enjoying now the last rays of the sun here in Bologna, and then uh, yeah, let's head back to Germany to cold and rainy Germany. Jonah Co. 
someone who asks on um, Instagram if this is a job that you can do your whole life. I think I answered already that question. But um, yes, it's possible. There are people that fly, um, you know, over 30 years, 40 years, and so um, yeah, it's it's possible, of course. He also asked um, if most of the flight attendants are gay. I don't know why that question should be that interesting. The answer is no. Um, lots of flight attendants are gay but um, I'm not for example um, and I know a few others are iron as well but um, yeah you know there are also lesbian flight attendants and you know I, I don't care about that to be honest for me everyone is exactly the same should be treated the same um, yeah that's going to be my answer for that like I don't know why that question interested you that much to be honest but yeah, that's my answer. Talk to Nerd asks um, what I think about uh, people, passengers using headphones and or reading the newspapers during the uh, passenger briefing. For me, it's very important to listen carefully to the um, to the safety features on board of each and every aircraft uh, because each and every aircraft is a little bit different. Um, maybe you know that, but every aircraft is supposed to be evacuated in 90 seconds in the half of the possible exits for example this Airbus A319 carries 140 passengers those 140 passengers in case of an emergency must evacuate through or yeah must evacuate through three emergency exits from the six that we have in 90 seconds from each and every person their responsibility to listen or not to what the crew is telling um, me as an example I always still listen to the safety features I always think okay where's my nearest exit where could I evacuate just in case of and um, yeah I think those people maybe they're freaking travelers maybe they don't care but trust me in case of preparing the aircraft for emergency landing they are going to be the first ones to listen carefully then. Greetings from the UK one more flight and then we are done. Let's head back to Frankfurt. Yeah.